Good afternoon, chess fans, and welcome again to our live coverage of the 2016 Tata Steel Chess Festival. I'm your host, Grandmaster Yasser Sarawan, along with Robin Van Kampen. Robin, we've been enjoying uh, today's games very much. Absolutely, yes. The world uh, number one rated lady, uh, mm -hmm. Oyi Fan, is playing against Shaq Mamidarov, too very uncompromising players. Yes. And let us see, uh, after move three, they reached uh, the uh, Nimzo, mm -hmm. and then And then it transposed, actually, to the right? Yeah, yeah, so here, um, white is inviting black to actually go for that, I guess that line with b6 uh, would, be the, mm -hmm. um, would be the old main line, I suppose. Yes. Um, when bishop g5, and you know, those are very sharp lines. As right. well, white has this option of playing queen c2 now, some sort of hybrid of the queen c2 variation. But um, I think Shaq actually knew that uh, how Ivan likes to play um, the Ragozin, which happens after d5. And perhaps he thought that this is the most easy way to get there without, uh, let's say, having to bother uh, about other openings that she perhaps could play. Right, like, um, sidestepping. Exactly. Whatever. So um, this happened, and he went for queen a4 check, which is one of the... I mean, it's a pretty positional line for white, I would say, because you're spending a, a move as white, uh, develop, letting black develop the knight to c6, arguing that it's not the right square in this position, right? right? because the knight on c6 basically is stepping in front of this pawn, which normally you want to play c5, mm -hmm. but the queen on a4 is a little bit offside as exactly. well. Exactly. <coughs> not exactly, and there we see it. The mm -hmm. queen actually comes back to c2. Bishop dropped back immediately to d6. It, 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 is, it is a pretty normal um, procedure for black to do this. Knight b4 and c5 is one idea, and also d takes c4 and e5. Yeah. These are two pawn breaks that are um, that are pretty common. Um, okay, let's let's uh, have a look at how this more or less developed. So they went for this e5 all position. All very mm -hmm. um, theoretical, it seems to me. I, in fact, I, I recall Patrick Wolf and other players. Uh, adopting this line as black. Mm -hmm. I, I'm starting to like white's position over here uh, slightly. Okay. I, I think that, the, I mean, it depends, of course, uh, if if he's able to put pressure on the pawn on c7, but in the long run, he does have a space advantage, and I find right. it quite hard to understand how black is going to get rid of the pawn on c7, because you can't move, because the knight of b6, right? Yes. This could really turn to some sort of long-term problem, uh, perhaps. Okay. That's why I think... Um, we really like white. Yeah. decided to, to change the bishops over here. A real mm -hmm. uh, slog. Trench warfare. Okay, all of this looks quite reasonable. Positionally sounds, I would say, yeah. Queen g5. Okay. Thanks. Knight c5. Uh, in the old days, they used to uh, say the weakness of the Chinese players was that while they were very, very tactically gifted, mm -hmm. strategically, they Less could so. be outplayed. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're seeing, you know, I'm thinking of Wang Hao mm -hmm. and other Chinese players really improve their strategic understanding. Ding Liren. Yeah. Just, and, uh, yeah, well, I mean, again, you've got to sit there and say, great night. Great that's, that's what I'm thinking right but now. Maybe <laughs> your bishop on e2 isn't the most clever uh, of pieces. I mean, I'm not thinking that mm, white has a huge advantage over here, but I don't see why why white wouldn't be a tiny bit better. I can go rook b3 if I want to and stop c6 altogether. Mm -hmm. And who knows, maybe I can bring my king over to the center and then start thinking if I want to open up the king side at some point. Now, black... Mm -hmm. is <laughs> very solid yeah. and I think it's very hard for white to prove that this is a large advantage but um, if I had to pick a side once again I will play it with white very good let's go to uh, Lok Van Veli and Anish Giri because uh, I'm being told that uh, Lok uh, it's Luke or Lok Luke 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 <laughs> Luke is in time trouble yes where, where is okay. he he's at the the bottom the very bottom the very bottom there we go and I'll click it on uh, we have left it, well, here. Okay, Luke actually has two minutes for nine moves, so that's very little time. By the way, he brought his knight to f4. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's very silly of him then, isn't it? I mean, he spent a lot of time um, bringing it to f4 when he could have done it uh, instantly. He has, at the moment, two and a half minutes for nine uh, remaining moves till move 40 time control, and 
he's also managed to drop his A3 pawn without immediately recovering yeah. the B6 pawn. It looks pawn. like Anish is uh, getting closer to um, to the desired result in a way. And mm. this, But th the position is still pretty sharp because, um, I mean, if you just defend the pawn on B6, then perhaps White wants to play knight to D5. Well, first uh, of or all, knight takes d3, yes, it's, it's a big d threat. Yeah. Right, precisely. There's a pin. Oops. Mm -hmm. So we almost are obliged to start to like this. Mm -hmm. Now, thanks to uh, there's no no tricky business, mm -hmm. and for the moment there's no tricky business with e3. And instead of um, defending the pawn on b6, I think black would rather attack the one on f4, right? Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Queen, or maybe queen d6? or. Queen. No, I like queen I like, c7. I like queen c7 as well. Um, uh, suffering. Is, is, this is, is there, suffering. hold on, yes. Is there f5 in this position? Oh, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was doing <laughs> one, one uh, yeah. direction. Ahead, right? Right? I was only looking <laughs> up the boards, not to the side. Excuse me, f5. Okay, then so I actually Luke has something in mind. We can't just attack the pawn f4. Well, let's just transfer over. Yeah, go to okay. g4 with the queen. Yes, exactly. And also, this might give us the chance to play rook f3, uh, in some cases. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm loving black's position oh, now, suddenly actually. suddenly me too. Uh, no, sorry, this is lost. This looks very bad, yeah. yeah this is just this is very, 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 very bad. <gasps> looks, Luke's uh, prediction of a 20-move victory is... is, uh, <laughs> is <the> <laughs> <laughs> no, I have this, thank goodness, otherwise it's too easy. Mm -hmm. But uh, can't we just go to d7, like precisely. your initial idea? And, and he's reaching for the oh, queen, and this, this has right. been played. Oh. Luke is going uh, down in flames. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but what is it, uh, in a blaze of go glory? Mm -hmm. uh, well, this isn't even going to be glorious. Not a lot of glory <laughs> involved so far, yeah. No. That was act but, but to be honest, yes, sir, and we're, we'll have a look at Magnus soon again, um, I feel like uh, Luke sort of lost it by himself here because at the moment that we saw where he could go 92 94 immediately let's go back just a tiny bit it, it actually suddenly started to look very unclear uh, to me i wasn't even sure if, if black is uh, it's better it's better at all um and luke has really um you know lost a bunch of time uh, putting the knight to b5 as we said so in a way um and we were looking at where white plays very quickly, knight f4 and yeah. rook d6. Oh, it will be very interesting to hear the player's thoughts on, on this position, um, as I'm assuming that uh, the game is going to be over pretty soon. Uh, we both uh, very much expecting that uh, Anish Giri, after this move, queen d7, first of all, he stands a pawn to the good. And mm -hmm. you look at these, you know, you're dreaming as white to play g5, g3, <laughs> and you know, try to hold the game. <laughs> only things Even are then, you're not 100% no. sure, but with the pawn on g5, it's looking hopeless yeah. for... And let me just get up to date with the players. I think uh, rook takes b6, queen g4 has played. Let's not forget, Luke is still in time trouble. He now has A one minute? minute for seven moves, is it? Eight moves? Yeah. Um, I don't see any other result happening on Anish. Uh, Winning. Winning another game here. The best thing I can see for Luke right now is to go... I actually, even that is not good enough anymore. I was going to suggest something like Rook to b3 mm -hmm. with the idea that if you take, take, yes. I can get my queen over to g3 and I'm probably only getting a lost endgame. Right. But Luke has to take into account moves such as e3 when probably um, this is even worse than that. So. Ouch. This is